we just got a new look at Tobin Bell and Saw X, plus the release date changed, Exorcist posters, oh, this is about to be a good video, you guys. Let's get into it. <laughs> What's up, I Like Scary? We are back. I hope you all are having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. It feels great to be a horror fan. So you all, we got some horror news um, coming from, you know, Saw X over on Bloody Disgusting with a new release date, you know, coming. And also, we got a steal of Tobin Bell and Saw X. We got some new released Exorcist Believer posters that I want to talk about. And um, yeah, you guys, before we get started, definitely smash the like button because it definitely helps. And make sure you subscribe so you can see some of this awesome content when I drop it. Make sure you hit that notification bell, but let's get into it. So, you all, over on Bloody Disgusting, we kind of got a new shot of Tobin Bell and Saw X, and it is crazy. He looks pissed, bro. He looks like he has a goal to put someone in these traps and have them being tortured at this point. It looks crazy. Um, it's cool to see him, you know, still pushing out, you know, with Saw and everything, so I cannot wait. But we also get some interesting news over on Blood Disgusting. It says Lionsgate will now release Saw X in theaters on September 29th, 2023. And from my understanding, you know, um, they're probably going to be doing this just to kind of push away from Blumhouse because Blumhouse right now is taking over october we have five nights at freddy's and we have actresses believers so um that's probably a smart move for you know Lionsgate to do that with saw x so they can kind of have their own moment you know september 8th we got the nun too it's like it's looking great for horror so hell yeah man i, I really can't wait to see what happens with this but um it, it looks crazy we kind of get a rundown of what um is about to happen to saw x you know a little summary and we're supposed to be getting a trailer here soon but it says, set between the events of Saw 1 and Saw 2, a sick and desperate John travels to Mexico for a risky and exper experimental medical procedure in hopes of a miracle cure for his cancer, only to discover their entire operation is a scam to defraud the most vulnerable. The infamous killer returns to his work, turning the tables on a con artist and his signature visceral way through devious deranged and ingenious traps so you guys this already sounds crazy so it's like <laughs> john is actually getting duped he's getting duped he's thinking he's gonna get a cure for his cancer he goes to mexico the whole time they don't know who they're you know messing with they don't know who they're messing with and they're gonna be stuck in these traps and maybe he's gonna have a little bit of fun with them just off the fact that he's going to you know doctors and everything maybe he's going to have fun with them so that's going to be crazy i am looking forward to saw x can't wait to see the traps and everything we have but yeah you guys also we got today some released exorcist believer posters the exorcist believer posters released and man i just want to talk about these posters man when i seen these i don't know what it is first off they're disturbing as hell i've never seen a horror poster like this in my life i just never have there's it's something to it that makes it creepy like the faces are very unsettling uh one of these faces look just like you know reagan linda blair like it's actually creepy as hell but it has like a twisted look to it um and i'm gonna kind of dive into these posters so with the first poster we see like you know them transforming like guess they're not fully full-blown possessed this is how reagan looked you remember in the original exorcist young reagan when she was going through the possession the first stage this kind of looks like reagan in my opinion it's, 
it's weird like a, a younger like Linda Blair it definitely gives me that portrayal of her now this is the picture right here I don't know what the hell is going on with this picture it looks like their face is like swollen and it, it's just it's disturbing man it's in black and white it's very disturbing I know people are saying that you know with the reactions and everything that um basically it were it, they were bad reactions people didn't like what they seen and now people are nervous personally I'm still sticking to it I'm an exorcist fan and um, I can't wait to see what Blumhouse does with this. You know, David Gordon Green, Chris Nelson. Um, I got I got faith. I mean, just stay positive with it. But this poster, it, it just gives me good vibes. Looking at, it, I'm creeped out by just the poster, man. Like, look at that face. Like, like it's like full. It's like it's showing us stages. That's exactly what it looks like. It's showing us stages of you know this person on this poster, and then we go down and we see this poster showing now i don't know if it's going to take place with like two younger girls because i heard that it's going to be a um a guy that has a daughter that's going to be possessed we're going to get into that but this one right here that looks like they're kind of picking up on a possession not fully there yet looks just like young reagan like when you look at that it looks like young reagan and it has like the possession face not too many scars and that creepy grin and also we see that um the other creepy one is next to him. They're like back to back. And that look is just so creepy. And it looks like someone's holding a cross to them. That's just a creative poster. I'm going to be honest. That poster is off the chain. I love this poster. Probably one of my favorite posters this year. Seriously. Because I've never seen anything like it. I want these posters. Um, That just the one right there that's kind of like. It's like they're on a, like the edge of a bed or something. It's just demonic. That look is unsettling. It's making me creeped out just looking at it, to be honest. So, yeah, these posters definitely kind of got me thinking, like, man, I can't wait to see what they do with this. So, um, yeah, guys, I've heard that we're possibly going to be getting that trailer soon. You know, Blumhouse on Instagram saying the trailer will be coming soon. You know, we will be reacting to that and talking about what we've seen. Like I said, once again, I'm a big actress fan. But um, to kind of give you guys basically a rundown on what – we will be getting into with the actress a small summary now this is very interesting guys so it says Odom jr. will play the father of a possessed child desperate for help he tracks down Ellen Bernstein's character now this is very interesting because you know people some people once again like I told you guys in the previous videos this is not a remake this is a continuance so I guess he's gonna have his own case with his own child he's going to be looking for help i could kind of see what's going on maybe he reaches out to reagan because we see that linda blair is going to have like a little small role in this maybe he reaches out to her for advice or she comes into that situation somehow maybe she's like the savior of the situation because she's been through the possession thing but only um, got the legacy you know characters coming in i think that it's going to be to the point where linda actually helps but um, I will not be surprised if Linda actually gets killed off. I don't know. It's, it's, this is Blumhouse at this point. I don't know what could happen. But I love what I'm seeing. Uh, Odom Jr., he's having a possessed child of his own. So he's going to be seeking for help. And right there, it kind of makes it seem like it's going to be like a, you know, a solid, you know, um, opening to this movie. Just him looking for help, dealing with a child, not knowing basically what he's dealing with pops possibly looking up doing research on a previous case with uh reagan so i can't wait man october 13th i'm in that theater man day one i'm looking forward to this comment down below if you guys are looking forward to the exorcist believer or saw x i'm looking forward to both of these films but unfortunately you guys this is the end of the video don't forget to hit me up on my social media i like scary on instagram i like scary underscore on tiktok right now on facebook i like scary on twitter and yeah you guys right there where it says subscribe next to it click join to become a member of the scary family also click join to become a patron to get exclusive content and benefits of the channel and yeah you guys i want you to watch some horror movies stay scary out there i love you all